I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. This is Colin McGuigan for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be joined by Ray Ford. Ray, how's things? Things is great getting this weight off. Uh, had a great training camp and we're ready. This is your first time in Cleveland fighting. Your, this is going to be your 14th pro fight, 12 wins, one draw. What can we expect to see from you on Saturday night? Uh, complete domination. That's what I've been working on in camp, just dominating, whether if it go the distance or if it ends early. We seen you last time out, and it was a bit of a controversial result. You weren't yourself; you had a problem with your hand, I believe. You also, um, maybe, you said yourself you struggled at the weight, but due to circumstances, talk to me about your preparation back then and how that's changed for this fight. For my last fight or my fight before that one? I mean, uh, my last two camps was kind of the same. Um, I've been going to Houston to train with Tyree Stevenson, Shakur Stevenson, and you know those guys over there. So. Uh, they've been getting me right, having me eating all the right things I need to eat, drinking the water I need to drink. So uh, this camp was no different. With going forward, you're now under the banner with Eddie Hearn. What can we expect from you, you know, say six to 12 months down the line? You're obviously still growing at this weight. Are you going to outgrow that weight soon? Um, I'm definitely looking forward to, you know, uh, fighting for a world title next year within the next 12 months. So, uh, um, yeah, definitely a world title and then... I might defend it once and then move up. Who, who in the division have you got your eyes on? Obviously, it, it's a good division, and, and at the moment, there's, there's plenty of fights out there for you. I know previously you've thought about Jordan Gill. Is there a possibility that that fight could happen? I mean, it could. Uh, he just lost, so I, I'm not sure if it, uh, if it really matters now. But I just want uh, you know a title eliminator with whoever they got, whoever they put me in there with, and then the world title shot. Uh, it could be the... Uh, for the IBF or the WBA, it don't matter. You previously stated that you did want to meet Mauricio Lara in the ring. You seen him win a few weeks ago. What did you make of his performance, and and what can you do in in order to beat Mauricio Lara? Um, I feel like he did what he was supposed to do to a smaller guy. He was a 115 pounder. He went in there, just tried to you know lock in with him, and uh, I feel like that was a dumb fight. So he did what he was supposed to do with him. But uh, I'm not really too impressed on how he fights. Uh, I don't see what everybody, oh, no, I do see what everybody else see in him, but they don't see what I see in him. So uh, I feel like he's a strong fighter, but uh, that's it. What about Lee Wood? And obviously for the UK fans, is there a possibility we could see you fight in the UK sometime soon? Definitely. Uh, if my world title shot is over there in the UK, I'll definitely go over there to fight Lee Wood or whoever they got over there for me to fight. Thank you very much for your time. We'll speak again after the fight. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session.